Hi. I'm what you call a Superman fan. I'm not a diehard fan, but I am a fan nonetheless. Okay. I don't take kindly to people making bullshit comments. Okay. I actually enjoyed the movie Man of Steel. The whole story sucked me in and I looked at it at a different point of view. All the movies, all the Superman movies, I looked at them from a different point of view. I saw them for what they were. I saw them in my head. I said, mm. at first I didn't like the, the outfit, you know, the new, the, new, the new suit. Okay, I didn't like it at first. And then that kind of died. You know, the idea of the not, the not liking the new suit died. I didn't like the new suit when, when they put it in Superman Returns. You know, I didn't like that one. I got to like it. Okay. Um, about the suit. Well, um, so what? They took the underwear off, the red underwear off, and left them off. I mean, look what they did with uh, Zod. Big deal, right? He's not wearing any underwear on the outside. Watch it, Superman. Okay. The reason I'm on here right now about it, okay, is because I think it's a lot of you know, bullshit that people are making some comments about the fact of the Man of Steel killing Zod, breaking his neck. I mean, let's put it this way. If you'd been in the same situation let's let's put it this way you were superman okay and you're put in the same situation where below you was zod and you had him in your in a in a, in a headlock uh, like in wrestling okay yeah you, you got him in a, in, a, in a headlock and in front of you and in front of him is a family in the sitting in the corner come on you're going to be rooting for that family. And, you know, his heat vision comes out. He's Zod's discovering his powers. Kind of like, you know, Kal-El did. Uh, when he first discovered it, when he was, what, five, maybe six? Okay. Um, you're just now discovering your powers that you have. Just like Kal-El does. Okay. Now... You're figuring out, well, you can burn somebody with your eyes, right? Cool, yeah. Okay, to this guy, Zod is a soldier, nothing more. All he knows is how to kill fast, hard, and no regret. Okay, just like the soldiers. Well, I can't say just like the soldiers out there that we have, the United States has. Okay, our soldiers do have regret of killing. All of them do. Any soldier out there, if you don't have regret in killing, you're not really human. Okay? Every soldier has regret in killing. I, I, I admit some don't. Some don't have regrets. But some do have regrets on good regrets on hiding it. They hide their regrets really well. So if you are going to say something about this movie and about him yeah, about Superman killing Zod don't okay you're making one big foolish mistake the reason I say you're making a foolish mistake is because pay attention to all the comics that are out there of Superman he has killed in the past in those comics he has killed Darkseid he has killed Lex Luthor he has killed um, uh, something called a Sentinel um, numerous villains, numerous supervillains, he has killed them, but it was a last option. He always talked them out of being killed or doing something they didn't want to do, something they might regret. Okay, none of them had regrets, not even Zod, because all Zod was bred is to be a soldier, and soldiers who are bred don't have regrets and don't have fears 
They just are bred to do what they're told to do. And that's what Zod was doing. Superman had an Earth family. Okay? An um, Earth mother, Earth father. Okay? They told him killing is bad. So, he went based on that. Okay? But, in your last mm, few seconds, you know it's bad. You know it's going to happen. You know something deep inside. You got to do something. And a family is facing imminent death. What are you going to do? What are you really going to do? You're going to kill that person who's trying to kill them from imminent death. You're going to have regret, yes. But you've at least saved a family from their death by killing somebody else. Another thing I noticed on comments was, why did not Superman save any lives in, in the city of Metropolis while Metropolis was being pretty much squished by heavy amounts of gravity um, throughout the, you know, in the movie? Well, uh, for one, the storyline didn't call for it. The storyline called for a physical fight between Zod, Superman, and Superman, and... Uh, the other people just like Zod who were bred for being soldiers nothing more okay keep in mind you know, keep that in mind you know um, he had no time to actually go palling around saving people while he was fighting Zod zero time I saw the whole movie from front to back. I'm going to watch it again. It's a good movie. But just keep in mind, when you watch that movie again, and I'm telling you to watch it again, have an open mind during the entire movie. Zod also, keep in mind, remember, in, remember the beginning of the movie, Zod killed jor without regrets. Okay? Superman, also Kal-El, also Clark Kent, had regrets of killing Zod. But, also keep in mind, Zod actually fessed up to killing Kal-El's father, Jor-El. Let's keep that in mind. So, you're going to have some pent-up anger if someone kills your father, right? Okay. You're going to use that anger towards killing that one person that killed your father, or your mother, or, or somebody in your family. You're going to have some pent-up anger, okay? He did. He used that anger to kill Zod, break his freaking neck, to save a family that he knew was going to burn to death by that heat vision that even Superman has. But he can control it. Zod could not. But still, Zod used it to his advantage to try and kill that family. Just keep in mind. Watch the movie again. Keep an open mind all the way through the movie. I had to. In fact, I enjoyed the movie. Implicitly. As I said, I was going to watch it again. And I am. But, I had to have an open mind when I saw the movie. Even when I didn't like the suit originally, I kept an open mind when I saw it. It came all to fruition, saying, yeah, okay, I can see why now. Okay. Anyway. Stop and think how many villains and supervillains Superman has truly killed when he was pushed or he had no options well, excuse me, no other options I should say when lives are at stake, billions of lives and keep in mind, billions of lives were always at stake in the comics so billions of lives were at stake even in this movie he had no time to stop a gravity 
making machine that made the gravity a hundred times more than what we are we have today our gravity is nothing so if we are let's just say somebody made a gravity machine like that and the gravity started squishing things like like it was pancakes okay you're gonna start running too and then you, you got no time to run because you got a gravity well pushing forcing like a pancake and that's what happened in this movie so pay attention to that stuff I do all the time I have it in my mind saying hmm yeah okay yeah now I see why keep in mind all the time always have an open perspective before you decide to make a dumb ridiculous comment even if it's about a movie